everyone, it's Lisa. Today on Doodle Draw Art, we're going to draw a witch's broom. So you're going to need a pencil and an eraser and uh, a black marker. And if you like, you can head on over to doodledrawart.com where you can print your own coloring page. So to draw the witch's broom, we're going to use our pencil just to establish our sketch line. So my broom is going to come across my page like this. I have a faint line with my pencil marking where the broom is going to go. And then it's going to be a little triangle here to show where um, it's attaching to the stick. And it's going to be tied off here. And then we're going to have the straw part of the broom coming down into sort of a teardrop shape. So I'm just going to faintly with my pencil here sketch in where I would like my broom um, bottom to be. So that's essentially where it's going to be on my page. And now I can switch over to my Sharpie because I know exactly where everything's going to go. So I'm going to start off by making the top edge of the wood on my broom. So I'm just going to mostly follow this line that I've already made. So I'm just going to come along here with my black marker and take it right up to the top edge like this. And then I'm going to bring the, uh, the thickness of the wood down like this, just a little bit wider at the top. And this is like the handle of the broom where the witch can, or the wizard can grab on nice and tightly. So here we have it connecting around the top. And then we're just going to bring the rest of this to connect in where the straw will be. All right, and next we're going to draw some straw down here. So starting in this triangle area, we're just going to draw some little wisps of straw. So these are just tight little V's that are going to show where the straw is on the broom and coming down like so. And then we're going to draw the string that holds it together. So I'm just going to make the edge of the string and then a double line like this coming across and then another one that's going to cross underneath so I'm just going to go behind like this and make it a double line also and then maybe just one more to connect this all together like that. Great. And now we can draw the straw at the bottom and so for this part here I'm just going to make a little bit of a messy piece that's sticking out and then I'm going to curve down toward the back end and I'm going to make some more messy pieces here. These are just little strokes in the straw of the broom. And then I'm going to come back up to the top and start to make my way around here. I'm going to let this one just drag out a little bit. And then I'm going to come back in, do it again, it's dragging out a little bit. I might come back in along that line and then down again and let it drag out. And then come back in and then just finish this off with some wispy lines of straw for my broom. Now if you like, you can also add a few more uh, texture lines through this part of the broom just to show all of the the idea, not all of, but the idea of some hay in there. Now it's up to you whether you want to uh, increase the thickness of any of these outside lines. You may or may not want to just broaden up your lines. You could use uh, your same ultra fine point marker or you could move up to a thicker point. Entirely up to you how you want to do this. But that's all there is to it. Now all you need to do is erase all the little sketch marks that are in behind and color in your broom. So I'll color mine in Photoshop so it will match what you've seen in the intro screen. And if you'd like to print your own, head on over to doodledrawart.com and please subscribe for more Doodle Draw Art.